Hello and welcome. I see we've spipped off the place and we're ready to start the show, yes? Yeah. Newcomers, a little tip. If you see me in jeans, we have not started yet. If you see me like this, please do not tell my career vocational guidance counselor what has happened. Just so you know. <sighs> we talk a lot about the work. Part of the work I do every week between performances is so I can improve my performances is study the performances of other performers. Yeah, I do that. Um, whether I get to go to live theater events or see a band I really like or, um, you know, get if nothing else, if my schedule's just completely collapsed, I go and I try to watch a little bit of video online to try to, well, steal their stuff. Well, Pablo Picasso said this really well. He said, you know, bad artists and okay artists, they copy. Great artists, they steal. Because the thing is, copying is like your DNA. You make more, like, you know, if you cut yourself, you heal through copying. You know, you, you watch some video on how to do something, you learn how to do it. It's a great learning tool, but it's, a, it's not necessarily a spectacular tool to create your own thing. It's when you take something and tear it apart and remix it and reinvent it and it's all yours, that's when you're on to something. Thank you. So, it's okay, make a little noise. You guys are like tense. I'm, I know I'm talking about heady stuff. So, I, I, I also have this thing that when I, ever since I was a kid, I like those behind the scenes things. I love the idea, we do a ton of tech theater here and it's actually like one of my secret loves of this show. The idea that I can, I can watch my own bonus feature out of how you put together an open stage every week. I mean, some of you are here from the very beginning and you hear all the swearing and I'm sorry for that. But, you know, some of you get to come in, like, at the pre-show and see the band and, oh, yeah, this is just how we do it and this is cool. We've been working for about two hours by the time you get here. So we're a little tired by then. But I've gotten into this addiction of watching behind-the-scenes footage. I got into this uh, thing of watching interviews because I love the idea of uh, a performer standing there in full costume just talking about how, you know, they didn't get a sandwich that day and just being very human. I also am looking for that, that really cool thing that makes them better than they are. Whatever that thing that makes them tick, I want to know what that is so I can steal it, open up my clockworks and rewire them so I tick in a similar way. I want to, I want to figure out how to be a really, a really awesome performer. Maybe if I can just steal those ideas, that would help. It hasn't worked yet, but I'm trying. I'm trying. So I saw these interviews. There were, there were online like audio interviews with clowns, and I finally found these. This, this for me, yeah, I know. They're really good. I'll, I'll get you the info. I promise, Moxie. This is Moxie, by the way. So I, uh, I found these interviews and I was listening to them. And this year's interviews were all with clown educators, you know, clown school instructors, very serious people, as you can imagine. They are. They actually, they talk a lot. They actually sound like philosophers. They talk about transformation. It was this pervasive theme through all of these different performances and these different, uh, these different interviews was talking about how people don't, you, an actor plays a part. You know, they put on the makeup and they, they put on the pants and that's it. But clowns have to become it because there's, it's a physical reality. The idea is you can't, there's no green screen and wires to make me any better than I actually am up here. This is as good as it gets, I'm afraid. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, yes. Thank you. But the idea being that as you, as you go through this, you, you're forced to really dig in yourself as a clown, as a physical performer to find truth, to find your truth, whatever that might be. And I really got into this idea that I'm becoming a better me up here. And I, I made an, an experiment. I've always talked about how I'm me. I'm me up here. Um, obviously, I'm a baggy pants, very confident, sort of ridiculous version of myself. <laughs> Thank you. I always wanted to be this cool growing up. It just never happened until now. But I, I finally realized that what I was actually doing was I wanted to figure out how this process worked. I, did, I, w I needed to play something I understood, me a little bit, in so much that anybody can. But I wanted to go through this process so I can kind of figure out how the process works so then I could share it with you guys. Over the next couple of, of weeks, months, you're going to start seeing lots of new characters. Kosh has brought Moxie out tonight. We might see some others later tonight that are characters that are people are working on. And I am really excited about this idea. Because two things come out of it. One, we get to see the growth of, of a new performer and their new skills. But the other thing, as we, as we grow, 
we get to find out who we are. I know there are times when I'm out in the world, I was actually in a grocery store and somebody walked up to me and said, hey, you're Russ from the Circus Freaks in the open stage and you're really awesome. And I said, ah! I just want an avocado. But I, and that's the wrong answer because inside the baggy pants for all the jokes is somebody who's emotionally kind of frail and kind of human and kind of twitchy about people walking up to him in a grocery store when he's shopping for produce. A serious time. So instead, I play this thing up here every week that I've become very familiar with called the host. It's the guy who hosts the show. There's no real name for it, so I'm the host of the show. So that's a character. And I can lean over and go, hey Russ, how about you stick your hand out and actually be nice to the person who bothered to walk up and say how awesome everything you're doing is. And little me kind of goes. <laughs> and things go surprisingly well, gosh. And then the revelation comes, something I never thought about. I knew if I did this over and over and over, I would become a better performer. You do anything enough times you're not, and you don't wash out just from frustration, you're gonna get better at it. This, everybody here knows this is a process, right? This is a long road to great. But we can, we can be good right now, it's good. So the idea that I didn't realize was that I could figure out things like being polite to someone or, or how to use the skills of this character in my day-to-day -day life. I didn't realize it was a two-way street. Those stairs, the three steps we have to walk up to be really brave to be on this stage, apparently you can take some of this out that way. And that was, I, I maybe not the pants. Maybe not the pants. You. I'm a new clown. I'm still saving up for clown boxers. <laughs> so I will regroup. I will. I will. As we start seeing these new performers, and maybe as you get brave and you decide to explore your own characters and your own performances, I hope you, you realize that the stairwell is not one way. And you can take some of this really cool stuff you've learned at the open stage out into the world. I hope you can do that. So that was like my cool idea for the week. <laughs>